Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we'll try to learn what is Angular and what are the advantages, disadvantages of Angular. So let me go quickly into what is Angular and where we can use Angular. Angular is a JavaScript framework developed by Google. Angular is used to develop a single page application. Angular is used to support mobile development using Ionic frameworks. That means there is a other framework called as Ionic framework which is very useful and when it is combined with our Angular, it provides us a feasibility to develop mobile application development. Angular is used to support for developing web application using HTML and CSS. Angular is also used to develop desktop applications using Electron.js. There are many UI frameworks for Angular, but most popular UI frameworks are Angular Material, ng Bootstrap, and ng Prime. So this is where the Angular is used. These are the different type of applications which can be developed. By this we can understand we can develop a web application, mobile application as well as desktop application by using Angular and combining with different frameworks or libraries. Versions of Angular. Angular was initially started with Angular 1. Later on it has been rewritten completely with Angular 2 version and it has been released in September 2016. Later, for every six months, Angular team is launching a major release of Angular. Angular 4, which was released in March 2017. Angular 5, which was released in November 2017. Angular 6, it was released in May 2018. Angular 7, in October 2018. Angular 8, in May 2019. Angular 9, in Feb 2020. Angular 10, in June 2020. Angular 11, November 2020, Angular 12, which was re recently released in May 2021. And I have did a video. If you want to check out my video on Angular 12 features, please check the description. I have features of Angular. So these are the features which are supported for all the versions of Angular. It provides a best feature called as build optimizer. It is very easy to build our code with different different chunks or bundles with an optimization and it also provides two-way data binding in any other applications like react view uh, we can use two-way binding but angular provides a best two-way binding where you can use reactive forms as well as template driven forms for doing this two-way binding and it is also used for progressive web applications it provides dependency injection it provides forms and their validations http calls Profiling. Profiling is something like where we will be having different types of environments and we can configure all the environments in a very easy manner and we can give the builds based on our environments. So it follows MVC or sometimes we will call it as MVVC, Model View Controller and Model View View Controller and it also provides an advanced routing which can be handled all the authorizations and there are many more features for Angular. In this playlist, we'll continue all the different types of features and we'll go in depth for every feature and we'll do some examples as well as disadvantages of angular so the problem with angular is you have to know javascript as well as typescript angular is completely based on typescript so it is always preferred to use typescript so you have to know javascript as well as the typescript and the understanding is very hard in angular because of that complex architecture as well as the syntax and there is one more problem that is for every six months angular is releasing different different versions migrating from one one version to other version is bit complex for the developers as well as maintainability application developed by angular in real time we saw many applications but these are applications which has been developed by angular itself gmail youtube tv mixer santander banking application so these are the major applications which has been developed using angular scope and the future of javascript so a big competition between angular react and view so we cannot conclude which framework will be useful and which framework will be having a more scope maybe we can expect five to six years future of angular as per my analysis and even google is working for more and more features they are giving more supports for UI libraries as well as other libraries which can be injected into our Angular application. 
that's it for this video in the next video we'll see how to set up our angular project in our local system hope you guys like my video if you like my video please share like subscribe to my channel signing off thank you